Hello, Tom here, and today I'm going to demonstrate the uh, Houdini Engine plugin for Unity. Uh, what you can see here is an empty level. We can walk through it. So uh, at the moment this level is very empty and we would like to do something about that. So I have created an OTL file which is supported by the Houdini engine. Which you can simply drag in. And it will generate uh, objects for you. The best part is that you can use the entire uh, Houdini interface inside Unity itself. So you can change everything around here. So if I wanted to place it inside a cylinder that could be uh, done as well. But even better would be to use the, an external mesh. Oh, wait, need to put the other one. Normally it would be possible to uh, use uh, Unity prefabs as well, but since the build is uh, still uh, in beta, I had to download a daily build which didn't have that feature yet uh, anymore. So hopefully that will be fixed in the future. So this is a bad temporary workaround. So now all the objects are placed inside the level automatically. If I wanted, I could set this to minus one and place everything on the ceiling. So you can build elaborate levels or, well, uh, remove a lot of the hassle of actually placing all the objects. You can simply generate a lot of them and then move around the ones that you don't really like. But uh, these uh, crates and barrels, they also uh, generate collision automatically, are uh, built in. But it's also possible to load in additional objects. So let's do that as well. So if I go to object uh, 0 and 1, you can see that the occurrence is greater than 0. These are the default objects. And here I'm going to load a cabinet and set the occurrence to 0.4. Now it generates cabinets. Well, first let's fix the material. So uh, material can be set here. Uh, currently uh, all the materials used must be inside the resources folder. So let's copy paste this name. And now the, it uses the correct material. But as you can see it places cabinets randomly across the level and some of them against the wall which is what we want. So if we disable placement on axis surface and only keep on axis border. We just keep the ones that are near the edge. If we wanted to uh, have other kind of collisions we could do this as well. So that's also automatically done. But uh, box collision is fine for this object. Or you can also use a mesh collider, which uh, is uh, a uh, optimized version of uh, the object itself. Or you can set this to 100 to get the mesh itself. Also note that uh, yeah, Houdin API will 
eventually or occasionally throw errors such as these because it's still uh, still beta. But uh, I'm really impressed with what you can do with it already. So um, let's add some light fixtures. As you can see the objects also do not really intersect with each other which is part of the thing. But um, I do not really want to have my lamps or well, lamps may intersect with uh, all other objects basically because they hang above them. So we can simply add another object. Um, simply do this again set correct object set it to external and now we simply set the occurrence of the barrels to zero now we will only get crates on this um, generator basically and now we can set this to our light fixture okay Let's not generate collision. Okay, so uh, we first need to uh, set the correct material again. Lamp fixture. Lamps should only exist in the middle of the rooms, so uh, disable place on access border, so we only get the middle ones. And because of the scale, uh, they hang at different heights, so we should set these to both 0 0.5, and now they hang on the same level. Also note this curve here, we could set this to only inside, uh, so we can define in which area certain objects can be placed, but we want them throughout the whole level, so we set it to no limit. Here you can set the amount of objects by the way. So uh, if the, uh, the entire area is smaller, you will get uh, a more dense area with packed with objects. So let's save this and play. So now the entire level is filled with objects, which makes the level much more interesting. It, it was done in less than a couple of minutes. Well, uh, I hope you found this uh, a useful demo and are interested in the Houdini engine itself as well. I'm uh, Tom and thanks for watching.